In this lesson, we are going to cover factories and seeds, which are part of database testing. When you create a database schema and structure, you don't really have any data to test. And if you add them manually, it's really boring and waste of time. We are going to use third party library called Faker, which is a great package for generating some fake data. But first, let's create our post factory using the artisan command. Now, locate your factory under database factories and post factory class. Okay, as you can see here, we already have Faker set up and all we need to define is fields that we need to populate. In this case, we only have title and content, I guess. No, it's title and a body, excuse me. Okay, so we are defining a title here and we have one more, which is body. Now we are going to use faker for this one. Now this faker class generator is actually for person name and other person properties like that. We don't need that, so we are going to change the usage for faker class. It's going to be provider slash lorem. As you may assume, it's going to be lorem ipsum. Okay, now we can use our faker here. But before that, we need to define to which model is this factory related to. So we're going to type app slash post. Great. Now for title, we are going to take a look at the faker GitHub repository where we have examples. So most likely for the title, we are going to use a sentence. And number of words. Six should be fine. Now, for the body, we should use paragraph. Great, and we are all done here. Let's create Cedar for our factory to run it. In Cedar, we can actually define how much of these posts we want to insert. Keep in mind that mass assignment protection is automatically disabled during database seeding and they shouldn't be executed in production.
This may look overwhelming, so let's break it down. This part in English says, build me a post class and we want 10 posts. Then create them by saving in the database. Next is a collection each, which will run through each of the created posts. Finally, inside each, save an issue associated with the created post. In order to get our seed class recognized, run composer dump minus auto load. Now you may use the db seed artisan command to seed your database. By default, the db seed command runs the database seeder class, which may be used to call other seed classes. However, you may use the minus minus class option to specify a specific seeder class to run individually. Unfortunately, we got an error telling us that Laravel is trying to give us faker generator, but we are only accepting faker provider lorem. Let's give it generator class and define provider lorem inside function. Now we get different error telling us that we are calling undefined method issues on Cedar. So let's remove that function. Great. It seems like our seeder went through. Let's verify that in phpMyAdmin. Great. Now we have some data to work with. But notice that we have 30 rows. But with all Cedar, we only need 10. Well, this is because we were fixing errors, and no matter if error happened or not, Cedar created 10 posts each time we executed a command when there was no error in the factory. <laughs> 